Welcome to Night Prayer, the first of the new year. So, Happy New Year. Albeit with the new lockdown, it feels as a challenging start to the new year. I am Cheryl Hawkins and I'm part of the ministry team at Holy Trinity Church. So let us begin our night prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So today, for some of us, it may have been busy and for others, it may have been a quiet day. So let us pause and think about the day, handing over to God what we need to in a moment of quiet. Most merciful God, we confess to you, behold the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us whilst we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no simple thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath, our souls are raised to life from death. So we now come to our psalm, and tonight's psalm is Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord, all my good depends upon you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune, my share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel, and in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Wherefore, my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh flesh also shall rest secure, for you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your fatal one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life, in your presence is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. The Lord is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Give to us, Lord Christ, the fullness of your grace, your presence and your very self, for you are our portion and our delight, now and forever. Glory to the Father, 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And now a very short scripture reading from Titus, chapter 2, verse 11. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all. So we now come to our reflection for this evening. And at the end of night prayer, we will say some words in the conclusion. And these words are, as the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for Christ. Words for me which have always resonated and brought me comfort at the end of the day. No matter what has happened during the day, we can and do look for Christ at the end of the day. In readiness for the morning to come. For me personally, it's probably one of the reasons why I find night prayer the most spiritually sustaining of all the daily offices. We're also reminded of these words in our psalm tonight, Psalm 16, when it states, I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel, and in the night watches he instructs my heart. The words from Psalm 16 and the words that we will say in our conclusion took on a new meaning for me recently when a ministry friend posted on Facebook a link to an article entitled The Historical Legacy of Night Watches. And it was published by the National Museum of African American History and Culture. The article explained that on the night of 31st of December 1862, enslaved and free African Americans gathered together, mostly in secret, to ring in the new year, and also await the news that the Emancipation Proclamation had taken effect. President Abraham Lincoln had issued the executive order that enslaved people in the rebelling, rebelling Confederate states were legally free in the September of 1862. But this order would not take effect until midnight of the new year. The occasion known as Watch Night or Freedom's Eve marks when African Americans across the country watched and waited for the news of freedom. Today, Watch Night is an annual New Year's tradition, which includes the memory of slavery and freedom, reflections on faith and celebration of a community's strength. A watch night service is rooted deeply in African American religious traditions. During that very first watch night, many enslaved African Americans gathered to pray, worship, sing and dance. It was an act of faith to gather even, as often such religious gatherings have been outlawed by the white enslavers, and some even paid with their lives for attending such worship. This deep faith and spirit is still seen in watch night services today. There is prayer in the minutes before midnight, and then the congregation sings the words, Watchman, watchman, please tell me the hour of the night. And the minister replies, It is three minutes to midnight. It is one minute to midnight. Before the new year. And it is now midnight. Freedom has come. Following, there are celebrations of worship and food on New Year's Day. The service today allows for reflection on the history of slavery and freedom, but it also reflects on the year just past, both good and difficult parts. 
Those that met in 1862 really knew the meaning of looking towards Christ, even if that meant harm. They also lived the words of Psalm 16 in blessing the Lord who gave them counsel to watch and wait for the 31st of December 1862. And for listening as the Lord instructed their hearts that night. Now we can only really just begin to imagine the long struggle that those that were enslaved endured to get to that night in December 1862. And today we still see a lot of inequality throughout the world and in our own country. Yet in 1862, they were able to put Christ at the centre as they watched and waited. In the article, there is a quote from the abolitionist Frederick Douglass that he wrote on the 31st of December 1862. He said the following. It is a day for poetry and song, a new song. These cloudless skies, this balmy air, this brilliant sunshine are in harmony with the glorious morning of liberty about to dawn upon us. For me, the words, as the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for Christ, is summed up in what Frederick Douglass wrote. We don't know what the next day will bring. For those enslaved, there must have been a lot of days where there was not, which were not full of poetry, song or cloudless skies or liberty. Yet through trust in Christ, they did look to the dawning of each day, knowing they would be held in Christ's love. For us, their legacy is that we are reminded that the struggle for equality still continues. But they also teach us the importance of watching and waiting each day and holding on to that trust in Christ's love. So we now come to our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia, Christ the light of the world, Alleluia, has manifested his glory. Alleluia, Alleluia. Now Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of our people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ the light of the world, Alleluia, has manifested his glory, Alleluia, Alleluia. So we now come to our time of prayer and some of our prayers tonight are taken from the prayer trust. And firstly we bring a prayer of thanksgiving in the following words. Lord, if you had not come among us, we would be living still in darkness. We would never have been enlightened by your words that give us life. We would never have known the wonder of your love. 
we would never have been touched by your mercy and compassion. We would never have felt the marvel of your friendship. We would never have been blessed with the joy of your presence. We would never have lived with any hope or meaning to our lives beyond our stay on earth. Thank you, Lord, for giving us your son. Amen. And Lord, tonight we remember all those where this third lockdown will bring uncertainty, loneliness and financial hardship. We pray that they can be sustained through your loving kindness and guidance. We ask that you give us the ability to look for those in our community that need support and give us the love and compassion to show that support. We pray, Lord, that the spread of the virus will reduce and that the, role, the, the vaccine rollout will bring relief in the coming months. And in a moment of silence, we bring before you, Lord, all those that are known to us, that are, in, are sick in mind, body or spirit. Be with those that we have prayed for this night and in the coming days and be with all those that care for them. We also bring before you, Lord, those that mourn, those that are remembering a death of a loved one from a long time ago, and those that are recently bereaved. Let them find peace and comfort in your love for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we start this new year, we pray, Lord, that your love will dwell in our hearts, your joy shall shine in our minds, and your peace abide in our lives, in our homes, in our families, in our workplaces, and throughout the world. Amen. And the collect for today. O oh God, who by the leading of a star, manifested your only Son to the people of the earth. Mercifully grant that we, who know you now by faith, may at last behold your glory, face to face, through Jesus Christ your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Visit our homes, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and those that we love and have prayed for, and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And we now come to our conclusion of night prayer. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, will make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks from the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the living waters of Christ cleanse us, 
May the Spirit descend upon us and the blessing of God be with us this night and always. Good night and take care.